dears, how are you? How life is treating you? I'm very fine. As you know, my name is Asnake Hando from Ethiopia. I'm doing my work, my job here in Awasa University as physics lecturer. Now today, we will going to do together tackle this problem. What this problem says? Look, two runners, runner A and runner B, can run five meters, five meters per second and four meters per second respectively. A or runner A starts ten minutes after B started running. How far will they be from the starting point when they pass each other? Look, look my dear, look my dears, let it be a solution. Look my dear, runner B runs on his, his velocity is 5 meters per second. And then the velocity of runner B is 4 meters per second, correct? And then T of the time taken. For a runner B, let it be T. And then the time taken for runner A is, is, is 10, I mean, T minus 600 seconds. It's 10 minute, minutes, just convert to second. It becomes 16 minutes, I mean, 16 seconds. Time in, it becomes 16 seconds. Great. If so, what we have to do now? Look, even if runner A is late by 10 minutes or by 600 seconds, they pass each other. That means the distance of runner A and then the distance of runner B is the same. Bear in mind, the speeds or the velocities of runner A as well as runner B is constant, the same. And the gears, they never accelerate. All acceleration is zero. And then, and then, to do such a problem, what you have to do? Look, my dears, these are givens. S of A, and then, and then S of B. That means the distance covered by runner A, and then the distance covered by the runner B should be equal. Already this is given, okay? But we know that a distance or the displacement means simply the velocity or an average velocity times the time taken by A. This is average velocity of A. This is the total time taken already required to accomplish this distance by runner A. We should be equivalent to this with an average velocity of B. Okay? times the total time required by runner B. But, look, already we discussed so far, this is a constant velocity. This velocity is constant throughout the entire displacement. And it means the average displacement, I mean the average velocity of runner A is 5 meters per second. The average value or value of velocity of runner A and then the instantaneous velocity of runner A is the same. Therefore, take just 5 meters per second as average velocity. In such a case, as I said, the instantaneous velocity and then the average velocity is the same. So 5 meters per second times T minus 600 second, which is equal to 4 meters per second times t. Look, my dears, meter per, meter per second by meter per second cancel. And then what we have to do? Just multiply 5t minus 300, I mean 3,000 seconds, which is equal to 4t. Now what we have to do now? We have to collect like terms. Just take this 5t to the right, and then it becomes neg of 3000 second, which is equal to 4t minus 5t. And then this becomes neg of t. Okay, neg of t. 
gas cancel in negative T. I mean, just eliminate negative one from both sides. And then it becomes, T becomes 3,000 seconds. This 3,000 seconds is the time required for the runner to be to finish the entire dispersal. Now we have the time. Therefore, it is everything is to calculate the entire displacement of both runners. Therefore, it is B, since S, and then SSB is equal, it's equal, and it means S of B means simply the velocity or the ablate or the instantaneous or the average velocity of object B, that is 4 meter per second. Yes. And then, already we found the time for runner B, which is 3,000 second, okay? Second by second cancel. And then just multiply 4 meter by 3,000, it becomes 12,000, and then meter, or simply 12 kilometer. That is good, we did it. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget. You have to like it, subscribe to it. Thank you. Bye bye.